right. Here we are on the Wisła River in Krakow, Poland, and I am now looking for that lost concentration camp. And if you look there, I'm going to try to zoom it in, it is right about there. I'm going to try to put a dot on it when I do the editing on this. It's a lost concentration camp. I heard it's not easy to get in, but we are going to try. And also, I'm going to be looking for an old fort. So, let's go find it. Got my GPS. Here I am now looking for the lost concentration camp. And I really don't know where I am. Now the coordinates tell me that it is that way about a kilometer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this pathway and see where it leads because on the map uh, that road does not really make a connection for me so I'm going to try it that way. Well that was a waste of time. I winded up coming out back to this main road here. You know and there's my faithful bike it's taking me all over the place and so I know, again, the coordinates are right that way, but there's no way in, so I'm going to just follow this road and see where it takes me. Well, here I am, I came up this road, I've gone up maybe, I don't know, half a kilometer, and there's just no way here to figure out where I am. The coordinates tell me that it is through there. But I went in a couple of times and I just met some heavy bush. So I'm not going through there now. So it's back to the bike and hopefully it will lead to an opening that I can get to the place. So back there, over and out. Okay, okay, I managed to find some in entrance here. The coordinates are telling me that it's beyond those trees there. But it still tells me that it's like three quarters of a kilometer away, so I don't know how I messed that up. And look at these old, they don't look like houses, they look kind of like could this be part of the concentration camp? Probably is. You know, I'm going to Google it and check and give you some more information. Uh, where it says see more. I believe this is part of the work or area. Oh, look what we have here. Well, some kind of a barbecue pit, stone hedge. That's what it looks like. Oh, there it is. What do we see? I see something way down there, way down there. Oh, there's the quarry. That's where concentration camp was. I call it the lost city. Many people lost their lives there. But anyways, let's take a look. Wow. Oh my God, this is pretty high. Man, this is pretty high. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There it is. There's the lost concentration camp. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I'm not, whoa. Oh man. That is it. And there it is, right over there. That's where I want to go. Right where those towers are question is, is how do I get there? Those cliffs are all pretty high everywhere you look. So let me see if there is a way down there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, this is kind of scary. Well, there's a there's a trail that goes all the way through the top there, but I don't see 
any way down and there's no way I'm climbing down there you kidding me well there's a big hill up there I have to see what that hill is all about that looks like some type of an old fort that's been buried up there at the top all right okay so at least the coordinates are right it's just how do you get in there man I wonder if there's any fishing down there. So, that's about it. I don't see anybody moving around. And I'm looking very carefully and I don't see any steps to go down. I see. Well, there's some houses in between there, so I'm going down there. Well, until we see each other again. Well, I'm down here and we saw that the city and apparently this is the only way I can figure out that it leads to where I want to go someplace that well let me go get my bike I'll leave the bike behind so I'll be back again well Take a look here, see if I can find that last place. I've tried two or three entrances and I'm about to give up, but this one seems to be promising. Okay, the path looks good. Here we go. Um, this is not a tourist area. I don't know why. They just don't make it a tourist area. But you can see, you can see it's a, a lot of fun wow it's an old bridge nothing on top of that one anymore now can i cross there i don't think so i think it's this way it's got to be this way boy talk, talk about exploring mosquitoes everywhere man okay so here we are oh there's another bridge. Not a bridge, some kind of... Hey, hey, hey! We're going down! Awesome! Look at this! And there it is! Oh man! Look! Look! There it is! Way over there! Okay, let me shut this camera off and I shall be back. And there is the entrance to the former work concentration camp. Wow, this is something else. Well, I wanna tell you, it took me about two hours in the location to find it. So this is where a lot of people lost their lives. They worked from morning till night. People were beaten, made them work in the winter. They didn't have any shoes, they went out with shoes. And they worked in these rock, they work in these rock quarries and I don't know if this was their bunks or whatever this is. Here it is. Look, work quarry camp. Take a look at this here, man. The lost concentration camp. This is something else. Let me just leave my bike here. Oh, can I go down there? Oh, be careful, Tony. Oh, take a look at that there. Man, oh man, oh man. A lot of people lost their lives here. And if you look down there, right about down there, you can see the electrified posts to keep people in. These poor people, they were arrested, being innocent just for belonging to a race and they'll be brought here to work until they died. So I will have more information on it down below where it says see more. So this is the famous lost concentration camp. And whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I should go down there. It looks like there's a river going through those stairs and those stairs. 
are missing this. I think the last time people worked here was 1942, 1943. And you can see that we were way over there when I first tried to get in where that opening is right about there. This is something. Well, let's climb up there and see what's up there. Well, I'm going to try to get up there. You can see what I believe what I believe that these things are is basically a rock crushers. They would take the quarry quarry rock and crush it. It'd go in through the top there and go all the way down into a processor. Whoa. Down there like this. And the trucks used to go down there and pick them up and they would be crushed. They look like kind of big huge fan blades or crushers in there. So what I'm going to do, I am not going to attempt to go on those stairs there because some things are missing there, but I'm going to attempt to go on this one here, but I'm not going to record it because I want to hang on with both hands, so I'll meet you up there. Well, I'm now up here, and that must have been the conveyor belt where I assume the trucks came under and picked up all the gravel after it was crushed by these monsters here. And you can see that electrical fence is doubled there and all the way through there. So people were confined in here. And I can see that the stairs end there, but I need to watch my bike so I'm not going down there. And we have here where I believe, I gotta be careful here, this is really dangerous, where the rocks were thrown in to be crushed. And all the original stuff is up here, like that. But like I said, I have to be very careful because this stuff is really old. I believe the last time this place operated was 1940 when it was evacuated, I believe, by the Russians and released uh, the prisoners, Jewish prisoners, from here. My God, this must have been absolutely horrible for people to work like this. There's an old stairs, completely gone. And... Like I said, I have to watch my footsteps, because this thing is gone. And there's the rest of the stairs going down. Well, what I'm going to do now is basically go back down, because this thing is making me nervous. And I'll see you guys later. I'm going to see what's on the other side now. And if you follow me to the back here, I found something very interesting. Apparently that these were holding sleeping areas for the workers here. See, this one's completely dark in there. But if you come in here, this is actually where they lived. I can imagine all these bunks, one on top of each other, and everybody just using one washroom. This must have been absolutely horror to live under these conditions here. And they're all straddled with these places here, like this. This one is completely demolished. And I believe the washrooms were over here. Probably one was females and the other one was males. Okay, and here we are on the bottom, and if you look here, they paved the road with the tombstones. This used to be the road that the trucks used to come down to the quarry to collect the rocks. And the tombstones that I assume that the people hid from the Nazi government, they brought them all here and put them down here as 
a monument to the people that worked here. I am so happy that I have discovered this place. This is a lost gem. And this goes on for a long, long time. I'm trying not to walk on the tombstones out of respect. And then people that lost their lives here is something else. And the tombstones continue along this. I am completely speechless about this. How they had to move the tombstones to another area to have them respected. But what better place than here? And now, just one more gesture before I go. In between these two gates that used to be the entrance to this concentration camp, I want to take these flowers and place them on one of these tombstones. And I want to say that you guys are still in our memories of what happened to you. And may the world never forget and never repeat this disaster. May you guys all that have suffered and died in this area rest in peace and may God bless. Thank you everybody that attended this place with me. Hi, this is Tony again. As you can see, I already found the place, the lost concentration camp. To my surprise, what did I find? Among the rubble, I find an old hammer. Question is, who was holding this hammer? And you can see that the construction of it is from the year 1920s to 1940s. Who was the hands that held this? and picked these rocks and died here. But you know something? Um, I don't deserve to keep this hammer. So if anybody out there has any relative or family or friends that were working in this camp, and if you look where it says Seymour, you'll see exactly where this is, please send me a message and then I'll take it from there with further information from you and I will send you this hammer to one of the loved ones of the family that lived here. So all I can say now is thank you very much for joining me on these journeys and I hope to have some more. So thank you and goodbye. And this is the hammer that I found.